Hi guys, I'd like to just chat to you quickly about this USB video capture card and talk about the software that's compatible with it. Our product code for this is the HDM-U2VC. This is a USB video capture card. It's not a external monitor output. This is an input. So you have an HDMI source and then you are capturing the video input from that on a PC itself. So having the hardware, the correct hardware in place is important for this device to operate correctly. I've spoken previously in another video about the hardware that's required, the PC hardware, in order for this device to operate smoothly. Now the software that it connects to, you obviously need to make sure that the device is installed. So you can look under Device Manager in Windows and you can check that it's installed. You should see the capture, USB capture device come up and you should see one of the COM ports that's activated on it. Now if the device is installed, you need to make sure that your Windows computer is updated completely. If it's not installing, just do a Windows update to make sure that the computer is fully updated and has all the latest information on it. From there, the device should install automatically, but you can manually go on a Windows computer through the Device Manager. Just right-click on the device and then just say Update Driver or Update Manually. From there, the device should install automatically. Once it's been installed and is fully functional on the computer, then you can open up the software that's used. So the, the, the manual recommends a bit of software called OBS. Um, and here you can see OBS, open, uh, it's open broadcast software. It gives you the instructions on how to set it up in OBS. When doing testing for this device itself, I tested it on OBS itself, it worked perfectly. And then I also tested it on VLC. So what I'll do is I'll make a video specifically for VLC to show you guys how to use the software. But here you can see the setup process, the steps you need to follow in order to get this capture card fully functional on OBS. So please read the manual before you attempt to connect it up. It comes in the box. If you guys have got any questions or comments, please feel free to make them below or get in touch with us. We'll do our best to help you. Have a wonderful day.